Installing new equipment has gotten easier and more efficient. In seconds, connect the refrigerant piping with a press-to-connect tool. HVACR professionals know that time is money. With a simple press, you can impact your company's bottom line by saving time with ZoomLock Max flame-free refrigerant fittings. There are a few things to keep in mind when installing the ZoomLock Max fitting. As with any ZoomLock product, it's essential to prep the piping. Use a commercially available copper tubing cutter. Take your time to ensure a clean, smooth cut. Make sure that there are no burrs or rough edges. Check that the tubing has retained its shape and is damage-free. Do not use hacksaws or reciprocating saws when cutting copper tubing as this creates a rough surface that may damage the O-ring in the fittings. To deburr the copper tubing thoroughly, use a commercially available deburring tool to remove residual burrs from the outside and inside of the copper tubing. Angle the tubing downwards to prevent filings from entering the tubing. The tubing end should be inspected. Address any sharp edges. Clean the tubing ends thoroughly using a cleaning pad in a rotating action. It must be free from scratches, oxidation, and debris. If scratches are present on the end of the copper tubing to be connected, sand or cut off the affected area to avoid the chance of O-ring damage. Any deep scratches on the copper tubing within the O-ring sealing area can provide a leak path for refrigerant to escape and should be sanded smooth. Watch for out-of-round tubing as well. Verify the O-ring is present and correctly seated. You may use a small amount of lubricant to aid tubing insertion. Before inserting the copper tubing into the fitting, use the depth gauge to determine the correct insertion depth. Mark the tubing at the indicated depth so you have a visual reference. Always ensure proper tubing insertion depth when crimping. Ensure that the jaw is aligned squarely on the fitting before pressing. The jaw must be placed squarely on the fitting, locating the groove on the bead. Complete the joint with the approved tool. Depress and hold the button to complete the pressing cycle. Pressing is complete when the jaws are fully closed and the piston retracts. Press only once. Release the jaws. When brazing near Zoom Lock Max, ensure that there is a minimum of 14 inches between the flame and the fitting. We suggest using wet ragging or heat block for protection against heat transfer that may damage the fitting. Professionals set themselves apart with labor and time-saving solutions from Parker Sportman. ZoomLock, the name you know, the brand you trust.